I will tell you about how to collect secrets on public repositories before attackers do it. My name is Lisa, I'm from Bizone, that's my Telegram nickname. I like to watch through somebody else's code on GitHub and so, to access token. And we can actually crawl the whole GitHub for the presence of these kind of tokens. And I have a script which is accessible via QR code, about 50 to 60 lines of code. It was pretty simple to write. And the dangerous permission detected, it's pretty easy to verify these tokens. You use for cycle. To verify it. There are so many secrets, usually it's uh, bad programming practices, and you can find it all the time. But not only in the files, not only in the code, sometimes people leak the whole files with some credentials. For example, in this file you can see on the screen account verification is also pretty simple. As a result, we have a very simple angle of attack, and you can find it on GitHub, for example, different keys, and there are other ways, other types of information, license keys, access keys, and credentials. There is a problem with rate limit of use. If we use a key, access key to GitHub and use it to look for different information you would get access to, you would have some limit. So after some time, the key is banned and you will not be able to use it. To bypass it is to use sleep time. You can also change tokens. It's pretty easy to write a code for it. But how to find? I've been using Dorking. Everybody knows about it, and it works pretty well. It has good documentation. We write some query after an question mark, and then we can have some additional parameters for sorting. We can select a page and so on. And to do so, we don't have to create any scripts. Everything is pre-made. We have some known tools. And they work only with one credential. And they do not transfer any other secret information. There is a utility, there is a tool called Truffle Hook. It looks for lines with high entropy and it can verify this data. There are some complex solutions. The tools I've been speaking about work in a single line database. But for example, there is a Git Docker, which looks across the whole GitHub, and it's the only open source I was able to find. But there are also some other, some other tools, like paid tools, for example, paid solutions. And the problem here is that it's pretty easy to have this attack, and if this data will be in the hands of a criminal, and it's one case if one person is cheated on, if it's... and it will be very different if it's a further activity against the whole company. This happened before, even to small companies, but it can happen to big companies. Leakages could be random, it could be by chance, or it could be very deliberate. Somebody would look for a way to leak code and then they share it on a platform, and by doing so the data becomes public. So what are the ways to prevent it? The best way is to use 
pre-commit hooks, which means you have a verification at the stage before the data is sent to some remote server. And when you commit, the commit is checked for creds and for secret information. Here we can see an example where GitLeaks tools were was implemented. Previously, it was scanned, and it analyzed if it has any secret information or not. We can also use SAST solutions. It improves the quality of code and helps with other vulnerabilities as well. You can also integrate these tools into CI. Here we can see an example for GitHub CI. And also some general recommendations. You could use different ignore files. You could use environment variables, store secret encrypted. You could use secret management system, scanning tools, tempcrats, as well as perform manual review. And you should not obviously upload them to public storage platforms. The usage of temp crass is also very useful. Yes, and just be attentive and double check the code manually. If the secrets have been leaked, you can't really do anything besides invalidate them and update. It will never happen again and hope that the fraudulent activity, the criminals were unable to use it. Thank you for your attention and may I have any questions. Okay, we don't have any questions. Everybody got the impression. Thank you very much for your attention.